Check, 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 one, two. And now, live from C Nation Studios at Irwin Academy, it's the C Nation Podcast Show. back it's me mr c in the place to be studio b from Irwin academy how's it going it's time for another lesson today is wednesday april 22nd it is a beautiful warm day outside hope you guys are doing well uh let's get right into it we're going to be learning brain stew by green day for band and cool thing about it is the main part of the song is only five different notes so we're gonna cover the band instrument part um, the cool thing about playing this on a band instrument like a flute or a trombone trumpet baritone horn etc is that it's chromatic okay the song like I said the main part of the song the main riff of the song is uh, the same thing throughout the whole song right and the pattern that it follows is it starts on the first note okay then it goes a whole step down. And then it goes a half step down. Half step, half step, half step. Okay? If you don't know what that means and you're not watching all the videos, shame on you. Okay? So, and it all, it, it makes sense with a piano. Okay? So, but I'm not going to use a piano because I have my whiteboard that I remembered. <laughs> okay? So, you have five different notes. One. That is an ugly one. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. So you're going to start on the first note. Holy moly. And then when you go from the first note to the second note, it is a whole step. Then from note two to note three, it's a half step. Three to four, half step, half step. When we use half steps and when we're talking band instruments, a lot of the times it depends on the note. Okay. But that is a terrible one. It looks like a backwards weird seven. That doesn't help at all. Okay, that's better. All right. So let's just say, let's pretend this note is an A, okay? Let's pretend it's a G, not an A, okay? So we're going to pretend, and I'm just going to write it underneath, G. Ugly G. All right. Let's pretend this first note is a G. If we're going down one whole step, oh, that's easy. We just go to the next letter before, F, okay? G to F. Now, if we're going to keep going backwards, and if we're going to go to half step, and if this is an F now, and we want to go a half step down, well, that would be F flat. Wait a minute. F flat. Mm -mm, don't work that way. There's no F flat. Why is there no F flat? I'm going to show you, before we get into it, we're going to do a little theory. always have the melodica right here at my desk. Okay, here's my F. Let's see. F. F flat. We're going backwards, so we need to go to the next note. Oh. F flat is an E. Why isn't there an F flat, Mr. C, or an E sharp? Because there's no black key right here. This is a half step down. You see that? Going from one key to the very, very next key. Nothing here. It's an E. Okay, if we're going to go a half step down from E, we go to the very, very, very next key, which is right here, E flat. If we're going to go another half step, the very, very, very next key is, is the D right there. You see that? You're going to go another half step, the very next key. Right there. Another half step, another half step. There's no key right here in the middle. Does that make sense? If we're going a whole step, let's start with the C. There's a C right here. Okay, if we're going to go a whole step, well... A whole is comprised of two halves. Half, half. Okay, a half plus a half is a whole. Math time. Okay, another, if we're going to go another half step, or another whole step, two halves, half, half. If we're going to go another whole step from the E, half, half. Ooh, another whole step, half, half. Another whole step, half, half. Another whole step, half, half. You see that? Ooh, magic, huh? Sorcery! No. It's it's just the math involved in music. Okay? Certain scales and certain rhythms and 
you know, it, it all depends on what you're playing. I mean, it, it, everything follows a certain pattern. There's a whole bunch of different scales. Some of them I'm learning now. Some of them I'm known a whole time. And we just had a theory lesson a while ago, okay? Whole step. Let's see. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Remember that one? No? Okay, well, don't worry about it. Okay, this is the pattern that we're going to follow playing brain stew. Okay, and this actually works for all the instruments, the guitar, the bass. I haven't done piano on this yet, but uh, band instruments, everything. Anytime you want to play brain stew, the rhythm, the main part, the, the riff of the song follows this pattern. Whole step, half, half, half. That's it. Okay, five different notes. You're starting here. Da -da. Then you move a whole step down. Two halves. Da -da. And then a half. Da -da. And then another half. Da -da. And then you do it all over again. Okay? All right. So let's get to playing. Let's start, since it has a very low sound, the original song. Let's start with a really low instrument. Trombone. Bam. All right. So uh, my baritone horn players, I went to the school, and I have four baritone horn players and I have three baritone horns at the school Ooh, that means only one of you took your instrument home and I know who it is because I talked to you so good for you <laughs> um I haven't brought a baritone horn home because those three belong to students and I'm not going to bring someone else's instrument home um I don't have the supplies to clean the instruments at the school so that's why I have not done a baritone horn video because I don't have one available. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, those instruments are going to stay at the school until we get back, and then you guys can get your instruments again. But uh, my one, uh, let's see, you are Wolf Dark Horse. You're the one that brought your instrument home. Good for you. Okay. Um, you just follow the trumpet parts. Okay. The trumpet valves and everything, it's the same for you. Okay, same note names and everything. So you just follow the trumpet part. Okay, all right, Wolf Dark Horse. Shout out to Wolf Dark Horse for taking your instrument home. Proud of you. And uh, why can't I unlock my slide? There we go. Cool. Okay, trombone part. Here we go, my trombone. The notes that we're going to play are right here. Okay, and I'm going to get the movement now right because I was watching my videos and I realized right here is where you're going to have your first note. Okay. All right, so trombones, you have an A flat, G flat, F, E, and E flat. Those are your notes to play. Okay, well, and um, because I'm not very good at trombone, I have my fingering chart right here. You guys should too, okay? All right, um, the positions, the side positions are, I wrote it down. Uh, you're going to do three, five, one, two, three. Not hard. Three, five, one, two, three. Um, okay, three, five, one, two, three. So, you don't want to do a low three. It wants to be kind of high, okay? So, the three, if you're practicing your trombone right now, which I hope you are, you should match my pitch, okay? What you hear coming from my trombone should sound just like the same from your trombone, okay? High three. Right, not that. Okay? Let me play a little different so you can see my position. Right here, you want to be before the bell for a third position, okay? That should sound just like that, okay? That is your A flat. Okay? And now, the next position is a fifth position. You want to be about a whole hand's worth outside the bell, okay? Not, yeah in the wall okay including my thumb that's a good fifth position right there okay that's the pitch you're looking for okay these notes are high you can do it you all can do it all my trombone players can do it okay so three you know what let me play weird okay keep your trombone set up correctly i'm gonna play weird that way you can see what's going on right here okay all right so third position Fifth position. Man, I 
guess I need to practice more, don't I? There it is, okay? A flat is three. G flat is five. Okay, the next is easy. The next part is easy. It's just one for your F, not a low F. No, yeah, your F. Not a, I'm, I'm thinking B flat. Am I thinking B flat? I am thinking B flat, okay? No. Um, your F is a one, and it is high. I'm looking at the fingering chart if you're wondering why I'm staring into the abyss, okay? Um, yeah, you want to do a one, and it is an F, and it should sound like this. Okay? So all together, we have three, three right there, five, one, three, five, one, okay? All right, that was a sour F. I need to practice trombone more. <laughs> all right, uh, three, five, one, two, three. So three, five, one, two, and three. Cool thing about this song for trombone is you're ending right where you started on a three. And then to keep playing, you just play a three high again. Okay? So all together, three, five, one, two, three. Okay? The last two notes... Your uh, E and your E flat, you're going to do it kind of fast. Bum, bum, bum. The other parts are kind of longer. Uh, and actually, according to the song, you want to do it two times. You want to go F, F. Oh, no, I'm not F. I'm sorry. A flat, A flat. And then G flat, G flat. And then F, F. And then E, E flat. A flat, A flat. G flat, G flat. F, F. E, E flat. Okay, I'm going to play for you right now. So here we go. Third position. Two times. I got to find the right tone. That's all it is. All right. So once again, the notes are A flat, A flat, G flat, G flat, F, F, E, 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 E flat, E flat. Everything is twice, but the E and the E flat are going to be quicker. Ba 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 da. Rest, rest, ba da. Rest, rest, ba da. Rest, rest, ba da. Ba da. Ba da. Okay. Cool. Let me. Uh... Oh, this bit that was kind of odd. Awesome. All right, guys. Good job. Put my trombone aside. And next, let's do another instrument that's in the perfect key. The key of C. A flute. Oh, holy moly. Guess what? Flutes, the same notes that I had up right now are the same notes for flute. Because trombone and flute are in the key of C. Only difference is flute is treble clef. And your music is in treble clef. Trombone is bass clef. It's a bass instrument, so it has a different clef, and the notes look different, but they are the same names, okay? All right. Okay, cool. So flutes, we have, once again, A flat, G flat, F, E, E flat, okay? A flat is a G with the pinky, okay? Uh, you have to use your thumb. Yes, you're going to use your thumb for every one of these notes, okay? So an A flat is a G with a pinky, okay? Let's play it two times. Ready? Yep, okay. Here we go. A flat, A flat. One, two, ready, go. There you go. That's from my sweet spot, okay? Next is a G flat. Another name for G flat, because these notes are enharmonic, is F sharp. So, no pinky. One, two, three on top. Use your thumb. One, two, three on top. Middle finger on the bottom. There you go. And yes, you're supposed to use your pinky for balance, okay? So, this is your G flat, F sharp, same note, okay? G flat. Two times, okay? So, let's go back. A flat, two times. G flat, two times, okay? You're just pushing your middle finger down on the bottom. And remember, your finger should be right here. If you didn't have the bottom of your flute, 
you're playing the last three keys, okay? And your top fingers, skip the tiny one, skip the third key. First finger, okay? And then the other two, just like that. You should not be doing this, all right? Mm-mm. Okay, you skip the key. You skip the tiny key on the top. You skip the second key. The third key. I'm sorry, the third key. One, two, three. Okay? All right. So, A flat. Two times. And then G flat. Pick up the pinky. Have the middle finger on the bottom. Okay? One, two. Ready? Go. Good. The next note is an E. Oh, no, it's an F. I'm sorry. It's an F. So we're just going to change these two fingers. That's it. Okay? First finger on the bottom. Okay? Everything on the top is the same. Thumb. One, two, three. This thumb. Not this thumb. This thumb. Okay? And you're just changing your middle finger for your first finger. Oh, see? My fingers are in the wrong spot. Middle finger for the first finger. Okay? Play it twice. Ready? Let's do it again. Two Fs. One, two. Ready? Go. Good, let's put it all together, okay? A flat, A flat, G flat, G flat, F, F. One, two, ready, go. Good. Last two notes is easy. E, it's one and two, and then E flat, one, two, three on the bottom with the bottom pinky, okay? So your E is thumb, one, two, three on top, one, two on the bottom. That's your E. It's a regular E. E natural. Okay? Then E flat. Add the bottom pinky, kind of like you're playing a D. And the pinky key on the bottom. Okay? That's your E flat. You know that. You've played it before. Okay? So we have E two times. And then E flat two times. Just a bit. Okay, I'm just adding these two fingers at the same time. My pinky on my pinky key and my ring finger on the bottom. Okay? All right, let's put it all together. So we have A flat, A flat, G flat, G flat, F, F, E, E, E flat, E flat. Good. Now we just put it all together. The last two notes, the E and the E flat, okay? These are quicker, okay? All the other notes, the first three. Um, you're going to have rest, rest. So you're going to go A flat, A flat, rest, rest. G flat, G flat, rest, rest. F, F, rest, rest. E, E, E flat, E flat. Okay? Let's do it. One, two, ready, go. Rest, rest. 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 That's it. That's a whole song for flutes. Good job, flautas. That sounds bomb right now. Oh, one of the first things I'm going to do after all this quarantine's over is I'm going to go to a Mexican restaurant and pick out, get some bomb tacos, one of each probably get some salsa i don't really like spicy stuff but i have nothing else to do so i'm starting off easy going with the you know taco bell del taco hot sauce just <laughs> you know and then i will work my way to abuelita's uh chile verde and chile rojo y todo okay i'll get there i'll get there i'll get there okay uh let's go to clarinet Oh, clarinet flute you can do it low too okay you can play the lower notes i didn't because i didn't but you can okay and work on your high notes flutes though it's better you can do it low obviously i can't Okay, why not? You can play at different octaves, okay? Clarimonet. I'm not going to play at a higher octave. Uh, cheat code, figure it out and do it, okay? Once Soundtrap gets up and running, we're just waiting for an okay from the DO, from the district office. You guys will be able to record, you know, you practicing your instrument and send it to me. 
You can write your own songs and send it to me. You can do beats and send it to me. I know a lot of you sixth graders, fifth graders, you guys that were really getting into the studio, once Soundtrap is up and running, I will let you know, and you can have fun just creating music on your own, okay? All right, Um, and we'll have other stuff coming soon, too. It'll be really cool. Um, Let me do something on my computer real quick. All right, we're good. Uh, Clarinet. We're going to start on a high B flat, okay? Here's an easy way to do a B flat. Top key and top thumb. That's a high B flat. Let me read a little bit. Okay. We have B flat, A flat, or G sharp, G, G flat, or F sharp, and F. All right? And that's it. It's going to follow the same rhythm, okay? You're going to have B flat, B flat, rest, rest. A flat, A flat, rest, rest. G, G, rest, rest. F sharp, F sharp, F, F, okay? And check out the song. Once again, it's called Brain Stew by Green Day, okay? Um, B flat, B flat, okay? Top thumb, top key. Boop, boop. Rest, rest, that's it, okay? Top thumb, top key. Ready? Go. Boop, boop. Wow, good job. Boop, boop. That's all it is, okay? Now, for an A flat or a G sharp, we're just going to push this side key right here. This one, okay? So if I have my fingers, you know, in regular position, how they're supposed to be, it's this one right there, okay? That's all we're going to push. We're not going to push any thumbs. We're just going to push the side key. That is your A flat or G sharp, okay? They're in harmonic. When it's in harmonic, it's the same pitch, two different names, all right? A flat, A flat. All right, now let's do B flat, B flat, thumb and top key. And then we're going to do A flat, A flat, side key, okay? We're going to go, but up, rest, rest, but up, rest, rest, okay? One, two, ready, go. Boop, boop, rest, rest, boop, boop, rest, rest. Now, you see how I'm doing this, okay? And then I'm doing this. Don't do this, okay? You're not going bang, bang, clarinet. No, okay? Get used to keeping your fingers in this, this position they're supposed to be in, okay? So when I normally do it, I'll use, like, the bend, the bone right here of my finger, on the inside and I'll just hit it just like that okay that way my fingers are ready to go to the next note you don't want to go like this no okay keep your fingers keep your hand in the position they're supposed to be and use the different parts of the limbs of your fingers to hit these side keys that's why they put them there okay if they wanted you to move a finger around all over the place they would have designed the clarinet differently and this goes with all of your instruments. The flute, the saxophone, trombones don't really have anything to worry about. Trumpets, you kind of don't either, okay? But anything that has keys, keep your fingers where they're supposed to be and use the different parts of your finger to hit these different keys, okay? You got pinkies, you got side keys right here, side keys right here, all right? So, B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, okay? One, two, ready, go. Boop, boop. Rest, rest, boop, boop. rest, rest. The next one is easy. It's a G. And how do you play a G? You don't push anything, okay? Wow, that's so hard, okay? All right, let's put all three together, okay? B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, G, G, all right? One, two, ready, go. Rest, 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 rest. All right? Now, yes, I just said use the side of your fingers, and I didn't, because I want you to see where you're gonna be pushing okay and i did this i should have kept my hand there anyways and played the g but i didn't i wanted you to see i'm not pushing anything okay so here's the right way one two ready go rest 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 okay you can't really see much movement with my hand that's how you should be all right and make sure your left hand is on top okay if you're doing this then you're gonna have a hard time hitting this side key this is why you want your left hand on top of the instrument. Just like the flute, left hand is on top. Clarinet, left hand is on top. Saxophone, left hand is on top. Okay? Because if you're trying to do... It's too much work. Left hand. Left hand is on top. Okay? All right. Uh, the next note after it is an F. It's just first finger, no thumb. F is first finger, no thumb. Okay? So, play two Fs. Wow, that's hard. And then an F sharp, the last note, you add your thumb, the bottom thumb key, the circle thumb key. That's it. Okay, that's that's a whole song. You have B flat, B flat. Oh, sorry. B flat, B flat. Gotta have top thumb, top key, top thumb key. A flat, A flat, side key, side key. 
GG. Nothing. Good game. Nothing. GG. First finger for your F two times. And then add the... Th no. Yeah. For the F... For the regular F, it's thumb. F sharp is first finger. You're not going to pinch it because that's an E. Okay? C, D, E. This is an E. When you play thumb key and first finger together, mm -mm, no E. Okay? F sharp is first finger. And then F is thumb, circle thumb key by itself. Okay? So you're just going to go woo, 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 woo. Okay? Woo, 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 woo. F sharp, F. F sharp, F. Okay? All right. Let's play it together. So we have B flats. Top thumb key, top key. Boop, boop. Okay, do it again. B flat, B flat. Boop, boop. A flat, right here on the side. Boop, boop. Again, A flat. Boop, boop. Good. G, two times. Boop, boop. Don't push nothing. G, two times. Boop, boop. Okay, and now F sharp is first finger only. Boop, boop. Play F sharp again. Boop, boop. Okay, now regular F. Circle thumb key only, nothing else. Boop, boop. Do it again. Boop, boop. Good. Let's put it all together. One, two, ready, go. I just played a B. Okay, sorry. Oh, that wasn't a B. That was an A. Uh, B flat. B flat. Okay. Uh, thumb key and top key. One, two, ready, go. A flat. G. F sharp. F. Keep going. Good. Now I want to show how to do the low part. My bass clarinet players, you would probably prefer to play this lower. So this is the same fingering, and let's see if I can remember how to do it. Okay. You have B flat, which is uh, you always want to push thumb one, two, three. And the soprano clarinets, you can do the same thing. Okay. Um, my alto clarinet player, it's going to be different. Um, let me do that now. Alto clarinet. You want to play. F. So you want to play uh, my alto clarinet player. This is just for you. Okay. I haven't forgotten about my archer. Okay. All right. Um, so alto clarinet F. You have F F. Okay. And then you have E flat, which is C D. Okay. I'm sorry. F is just your thumb. Okay. F F. Archer. F F. Okay, and then E flat, which is D sharp, C, D flat. Okay, uh, C, D, E, E flat. Okay, there was another way to play it too, uh, E flat. Oh yeah, because mine doesn't work this way. That's right. Um, let's see, F. Oh my gosh, I totally didn't prepare to do an alto clarinet version of this. C, D, E, F. Okay, so we have F. And then D. And then C sharp. All right, so I have to use this fingering. Okay. You can do first finger and thumb and first finger on the bottom because, like I said, um, my key doesn't close all the way right here. I'm missing a pad on this clarinet. No big deal. Okay, so alto clarinet players. Um, Darkness, you're another alto clarinet player. Archer, I don't remember if you still have your alto or not. So you have a French horn. Okay, so we have our F. Okay, F is only thumb. Okay. And then to play our uh, E flat, D sharp, first finger, second finger, this bottom side key right here, okay? That is your D sharp or E flat, whatever you want to call it, and harmonic, okay? Then your D, pick this one up. And then C sharp, you want to play C, you want to play a C, and you want to add this pinky, the one that curls around the clarinet, okay? Okay, that's your C sharp. And then you pick your pinky up for your C. Okay, once again, that C-sharp key is right there. Not these ones, not in that group of three. It's this one that kind of curls with the clarinet, okay? So once again, you have FF, which is thumb-thumb, okay? 
and then your uh, E flat D sharp is you play a D and you add this bottom side key right there okay and then you pick it up for your D and then your C sharp and then C okay and the notes will be right here for I'll put the notes here's the notes right here okay my alto clarinet players okay back to the low part sorry guys uh, you have a B flat and then an A flat uh, A flat is thumb on top one two three this is not gonna change this will always be the same for all of these notes okay B flat is first finger on the bottom but up and then uh, a flat you're gonna play a G a low G one two three on the bottom and you're gonna add this pinky okay the front pinky key not the back pinky key the front pinky key okay a flat a flat G G okay so B flat B flat a flat G and then uh, let me see okay uh, for the F sharp G flat you want to do one two three you want to do this bottom front key and this key right here okay this is your F sharp G flat same thing okay sorry my bad it's this one and I was wrong again it's this one right there okay the top pinky key the one that's kind of far off okay that's your F sharp and then your F, you just pick it up, okay? So on the bottom pinky, you want to do the bottom, bottom, front pinky key, if that makes sense. This one right here, okay? You get the group of four. It's this one, okay? And then for your F sharp, you add this dude that's kind of far away. Bam, right there, okay? F sharp, F, F sharp, F, F sharp, F. That's the only change that's going on, okay? B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, G, G, both pinkies. F sharp, F sharp, F, F, okay? And it'll sound like this. All right, bass clarinets. Cool. All right. I am going to end this video. We got three instruments down. I got three left. We got trumpet. We got saxophone. And, uh, I guess that's it. I thought I had three, but I guess not. Um, I will also write the notes for French horn. Uh, let me see. How can I do French horn notes? I will figure out the notes for my French horn player if you have your French horn. If not, um, sorry, I've been forgetting about you. And alto clarinet players, my apologies also. Um, I'm going to start including alto clarinet and French horn, okay? Uh, give you guys something to practice and uh, thank you guys for watching did I forget an instrument flute clarinet trombone trumpet saxophone I'll probably do the notes for piano too because I haven't done the notes for piano next okay all right so uh, keep a lookout for part two of this video coming out very soon probably I'll do it in five minutes okay because I'm already at a 30 minutes according to my timer and i don't want these videos to be too long okay so um i will see you guys soon be good you're my kids i miss y'all we all miss you guys miss your smiling faces your jokes all of it your eye rolling <laughs> i'm sure you miss me either. all right guys take care